let's, I, I, yeah, and by the way, yes, I know I'm getting pinged all day that there's chatter all over the internet about me. I have no knowledge. That's my answer. And I, I just tweeted it out because I know a lot of my friends here are trying to be nice to me. Are you seeing all this activity that you've been surveilled? And I said, I have, I have zero knowledge of any surveillance against me, any unmasking against me by the Obama administration. But considering that's the same Obama administration that used the IRS to go after conservative groups, nothing shocks me. But do I have any personal knowledge of it? No, I don't. Am I worried about it? No, but I will sue the living pants off of anybody that did it. I promise you that. And I will stop at nothing. And I have the means to attack this for years, and I'll do it. And I'll do it on behalf of every American's right to privacy and right to, you know, be able to make a confidential phone call or send a text or an email to their friends and, and loved ones. Good grief. Anyway, if I want to talk to somebody in the Trump administration, I ought to have the privacy that is afforded every American. And the fact that General Flynn had his whole life turned upside down because of illegal unmasking and, and intelligence leaking, that's why this is so important. You've got to understand, you're next. You understand? This can happen to every American. This is an abuse of power. This is unconstitutional. This violates your right to unreasonable search and seizure in every regard. It literally stifles freedom of speech and expression and freedom of the press. Remember, they tried to intimidate James Rosen back in the day. So Susan Rice, two weeks ago, I don't know anything about this. Listen. I know nothing about this. I was surprised to see uh, reports from uh, Chairman Yunus on that uh, count today. I mean, let's back up and recall where we have been. Uh, the President of the United States accused his predecessor, President Obama, of wiretapping Trump Tower during the campaign. Nothing of the sort occurred, and we've heard that confirmed by the director of the FBI, who also pointed out that no president, no White House, uh, can order the surveillance of another American citizen. That can only come from the Justice Department with the approval of a FISA court. So today, uh, I really don't know to what uh, Chairman Nunes was referring, but he said that whatever he was referring to was a, a legal, lawful uh, surveillance and that it was potentially incidental collection right. on American citizens. And I think it's important for, under, for people to understand what incidental means. That means that the target was a either a foreign entity or somebody under criminal investigation and that the Americans who were talking to those targets may have been picked up. Notice everything she's saying in that answer. I, I don't know anything about this, but I, I'm... You know, hypothetically, this and that could be the case, and but this and that would need to be the prerequisite for this or that to happen. No knowledge at all. Okay, now Susan Rice pulls an Evelyn Farkas. Now she's trying to walk it back. And by the way, if this is not, I actually felt like it was a script reading between Andrea Mitchell and Susan Rice because it was so obvious that, that she was given the questions, in my opinion, ahead of time. But now Susan Rice admits that General Flynn was surveilled and unmasked, and then she claims, but not for political purposes. <laughs> Why else would you unmask him? Why else would you leak that intelligence? You ruin this man's life. And whoever did it will be the subject of a civil suit. I'll tell you that. Anyway, listen to her now backtrack a thousand percent. Did you seek the names of people involved in to, to unmask the names of people involved in the trump transition the trump campaign people surrounding the pre, the, the president elect let me be clear. in order to spy on them in absolutely order to expose them. absolutely not for any political purposes to spy expose anything but Did let you me leak the name of mike flynn i leaked nothing to nobody and never have and never would but let, let me explain uh this first of all andrea to talk about the contents of a classified report, to talk about the individuals on the foreign side who were the targets of the uh, the report itself, or any Americans who may have been collected upon incidentally, is to disclose classified information. I'm not going to do that. And those people who are putting these stories out are doing just that. All right, so I can't describe any particular report I saw. And by the way, I have no idea what reports are allegedly uh, are being described. 
grabbed by those who were putting out this story. I don't know what time frame they were from, I don't know the subject matter, and I don't know who uh, they think was collected upon. The allegation is that in one case they are alleging in the Daily Caller that there was a spreadsheet that you put out of all of these names. Absolutely false. And circulated. No spreadsheet, nothing of the sort. Uh, no spreadsheet. There will be a record. Because to get to this intelligence, you have to dig deep, deep, deep. You have a, yeah, everything is, everything with raw intelligence, everything you've listened to, every request you made, every unmasking request, it all exists. And she now has been exposed as unmasking. And then later in the interview, she admits the pace of surveillance of Donald Trump increased after the election. We'll get to that in a second, but knock me over with a feather here. The same Susan Rice who lied about Benghazi five times on five separate Sunday shows is now denying she had anything to do with the unmasking of members of Donald Trump's presidential campaign being surveilled by the Obama administration. It's pretty unbelievable. As a matter of fact, I don't believe it. I don't believe it in any way, shape, matter, or form. Anyway, I'm gonna, we're gonna get back to this. We're gonna play more of that interview with her. Then we'll have, uh, Sarah Carter. Then we'll look at the legal aspects with Jay Seculo and Joe DeGeneva. I don't know the answer. Everyone's still writing me like a thousand times. I don't know if it's true or not. I have, no, how would I possibly know if surveillance took place on me or unmasking of me? I don't know. I have no idea. So, I, everyone that's trying to look out for my, I am not, no, I'm not worried at all. As a matter of fact, I'll be very rich. If, in fact, it happened, and I'll sue Obama himself, Ben Rhodes, Susan Rice, I'll sue them all by name in a civil action. You know what? I'm going to ask Jay and Joe if they'll represent me later. We'll do that. Hey, listen, if you are like me, believe in the Second Amendment. You